Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is a remarkable day in the history of programming. Now we are moving on to the phase where every day is exciting. There is some news that is dropping out and I want to cover this one. I'm super excited for this one. In this video, I'll walk you through that what possibly can be one of the Python killer. Python is an amazing programming language, but now it's going to face heads up heat, a heads up competition from a language which is newly here, is modern, but it's being designed from the people who are very, very reliable in the industry. I'm not saying that Python will go away tomorrow, but there are high chances that eventually it might fade out. Now, first of all, listen to this very carefully. Why does Python is gaining so much of popularity? Not because it's easy, not because it's fast. There are other languages which are comparatively equally easy. There are other languages which are faster than this. The reason why Python is gaining its popularity is not because it's easier to develop application using Django or Fast API. It's the whole and soul, the era of machine learning. There is a hype going on right around, which is on machine learning. And we all know that the reason why these machine learning and the Python are all sinking in and where the Python is getting its all superpower, it's C++. Because all the libraries which you see in the machine learning are actually written in C++ because of the performance issue. But over the top of these libraries, an API layer is given to the Python. And there's a lot of bridging that happens. And we all know Python is not the fastest of the language. But it's a, a choice uh, to just do all of the things because we don't have any other choice to choose a programming language. A language which is totally designed for machine learning work, for AI work, we don't have an option. So that's why we all went into the rabbit hole of learning the Python. And it's easy for a lot of beginners to get attention that, hey, you can learn this easy language and can become a machine learning engineer. That's a good thing as well. Uh, it, it attracted a lot of people. But now it's time that we are designing and we are moving into an era where a language which is specifically designed for this purpose is coming out. This is amazing. And this language is backed by developers or being created by the developers who created Swift, one of my favorite programming language. So elegance is there in the Swift. I'm pretty sure the same elegance is going to be coming up here. The reason why I'm so much excited about this language is because this language gives you the performance, which is arguably better than C++ and a memory management like Rust and the type safety, like what all you need for that. So let me introduce you to this language, which is designed by Modular. Now, here is the Modular website. I'm onto this one. So Modular is a new company which is claiming to design a language uh, programming language for all AI developers. Yes, out of the box, it supports so much. So together, we're going to be walking through. This is more of an introductory video where I'll just walk you through with a couple of pages, documentation, and how you can sign up the beta. I have already signed up for that. So this will be super interesting for you. This is exciting time. I'm super, super excited for this one. So notice here what it says. Uh, Mojo combines the usability of Python with the performance of C, unlocking unparalleled programming programmability of AI hardware and extensibility of AI model. This is really, really cool. Uh, I don't know what extension. <laughs> Notice here it says softmax.fire icon. Are we using the fire icon now? I'm pretty sure not, but uh, this is all out of the box. And what they claim is that it just out of the box supports Python and all the things that you have already written in Python, you probably don't need to convert that. Rest is going to come up eventually as I get an access to this one. Uh, write Python or scale all the way down to the metal uh, program, uh, the multitude of low levels. So it's claiming that we'll give you access. If you want to just brush through over the top layer of abstraction, you can do that. But in some cases, if you need fine grain control of the memory management and memory allocation and all that, you can do that as well. This is the most interesting power of this one. Uh, unlock the Python performance and all of that. So this is interesting here. Python is obviously single thread execution and this out of the box supports parallel processing across multiple cores. These days, all, all computers are having multi cores, but the languages that were designed were like in the 90s. And at that point of time, we were only uh, having a single core. Now, nobody has a single core. Even the smallest computer on which you are watching is a multi core. So now programming languages should actually uh, need to take advantage of these multi-core. How long we are going to be just blindly following the C and C++ and Python, they are the best language. No, the things are evolving fast. We need multi-processing now. Either language needs to adopt or we are going to be moving into different languages now. That's how it works. In the iOS world, we moved to Swift from Objective-C. I'm pretty sure very soon people are going to be migrating from Python to such languages. The adoption rate these days is crazy insane. So notice here, it says, uh, that, hey, time, a speed up versus Python, 35,000 times. 
<laughs> what kind of magic mojo magic is only thing that i can recommend is uh, change this logo of mojo instead use that old uh, mojo jojo uh, logo if you remember that from old powerpuff girls days i think that's what i anyways uh, so coming up onto this this is super exciting uh, you can upgrade your models or modular stacks uh, this actually brings my interest back into machine learning so yeah due to my college actually i'm studying this a little bit but now i'm more excited and you can get access. I've already signed up for the beta access here in the Mojo. You can also sign up. Uh, just say modular.com get started. I filled up for Mojo just right now at the time of recording of the video. Uh, so make sure you also do that in case you want an access. And here are the docs that are available. So why Mojo, the programming manual, and a whole lot of low level Hello World. So you can see just from the Hello World, it's not a complex one. But again, nothing actually proves you with the Hello World. Uh, we have let and war declaration. So there is a basic. I was reading this. There is a strong type checking as well. Love that. And there is a overload functions and methods, uh, function definition. There's a lot I studied. I spent my entire hour in just uh, reading the docs. And probably very soon, if they allow me the access, I would love to uh, record a few tutorials on that, at least just figuring it out, playing it around. <laughs> I would love to see that. There is so much. So the modular docs are here, and then there is get ready. I've already signed up. And here is something interesting. So try Mojo and why Mojo. Try Mojo is where they say that, hey, there is going to be a Mojo playground where you can play around the things and you can just look around what's happening. You can chat and there's a uh, GitHub. Uh, the thing is that on the GitHub right now, there is nothing, which is a good approach, I think. Uh, because if you have this kind of a uh, approach where you just dump all the things, you just burden down with a lot of pull requests. There are issues here. I was just looking through in them as well that, hey, uh, official site is blank. Yes, of course, they are not going to be making it open source on day one, which is a good approach in case you are working with the open source community and projects. Otherwise, people just copy and paste the product. Our one of the dev UI also got copied, like ripped off copy. Somebody else say there, this is my open source project. <laughs> uh, surprisingly, they sent it to me on the Discord as well. Very funny. Uh, anyways, so low level uh, IR on Mojo. There's there's a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, one thing I would recommend you to read is why Mojo. There's a lot of interesting uh, material and article on this one. If you wish, I can make a summarized version video of it. Uh, but notice here, Mojo as a member of Python family, so. Uh, Mojo is to provide a superset of Python. So they are kind of a, using the TypeScript approach, just like how the TypeScript is getting popular. It's almost like JavaScript, but with added superpower to it. So that's exactly. And notice it says how compatible Mojo with Python really. Mojo already supports many core features in Python, including async await, error handling, and a whole lot more will be supported. Uh, Mojo doesn't even support classes yet. Uh, very soon they will be, probably. And there is a uh, intentional differences, otherwise how it will be super fast. There's a detailed motivation. This is the para which I absolutely loved reading it, uh, that how they are looking for, what is the motivation behind it. That's that's great. Uh, two world problem. So this is the entire thing which I would highly, highly recommend you to try this out, read this. Great, great, interesting read. Uh, on a final note, I would say that yes, there is a great enhancement that is going on in the world of programming. Every single day, there's something which is dropping out. I'm just running behind and making a lot of videos. But hey, this could be a killer of Python. What do you say in the comment section? It could be a killer or it would be another a facade. Uh, anything, the time will tell only where the things are going to lean forward. But stay tuned, hit that subscribe. I'm going to be bringing up a lot more such exciting updates which are happening all around the places. Let's catch up in another such video.